to my channel today I'm here with a new video um, y'all already know that majority of the content on my channel is foundation reviews and lately I've been getting a lot of questions from older subscribers and newer ones on what are my favorite foundations I realize I haven't did a holy grail foundation video in a little over a year now I think it's almost been two years so I just feel like now is the time to do it and in this video I did break down the foundations into categories because really right now there are only maybe three foundations that I absolutely really really like and I didn't want to do a whole video on three foundations so I decided to break it down and um, each category is like matte coverage, skin tint, you know. So I wanted to make this a nice lengthy video. Someone asked me, they can always go back to this video and see what are the foundations that I feel are my holy grail foundations. They asked over and over, what foundations do I really like? What is my favorite matte foundation? What is my favorite skin tint? So here we are. And I think I'm gonna start with my favorite matte full coverage foundation. So yeah, that's where we start. I'm start with my favorite matte full coverage foundations. And the first one I'm gonna start with is from Natasha Denona. This is the Transfer Matte Foundation. Um, I have a review on this on my channel, obviously. I picked this up last year over the summer and I reviewed this for foundation for I'm not gonna go into so much detail about every foundation because I don't want this to be a very long video. But anyway, this is a very matte, full coverage foundation that looks exactly like skin. shade 90N, which is um, dark neutral. This is the perfect shade match. What I absolutely love about this particular foundation besides the fact that it's matte. This is a matte foundation that really looks like skin. It is lightweight. It feels like you don't have nothing on. And also this make you look like you don't have a pore on your face. This gives you a very filtered look, which I love by the way. This is perfect for oily skin. I don't really feel like somebody with dry skin would like this. No one with dry skin tried this out and they said they didn't like it. I will completely understand. So this is really for somebody with oily skin, large pores, and you want um, full coverage. This is definitely worth picking up. And this is on sale on Sephora's uh, website and it's a store for about $22. It's been on sale for a very long time so definitely go pick this up if you're interested and also it does come with a pump foundation and if you are familiar with my channel you know this is a holy grail of mine that's been a holy grail for a very very long time this is the YSL all hours foundation I have the shade warm coffee I just was um, recently told a few months ago that this particular shade is being discontinued and when I looked on Sephora's site it was not there so I don't know if it's um, has been discontinued everywhere but if you use me as a shade reference you can use this shade which is warm coffee it's a perfect shade match but I also have um, BD hazelnut well I did I think I got rid of it that one is a little more uh, warm it has a red undertone so if you like a foundation that's more red then definitely try hazelnut but if you want something that's a more more neutral like what I typically go for warm coffee is a perfect shade a matte foundation but I don't feel like it is super matte I feel like it leans more to like natural matte it's definitely not as matte as the Natasha Denona um, foundation this gives you like a nice natural flow this finish it looks like skin I just really like this foundation this has been um, one of my favorites for a very long time like years now like I really like this foundation I'm praying YSL don't discontinue it because lately they've been getting rid of a lot of their complexion products hopefully um, this one doesn't <laughs> go away anytime soon and they have a lot of shades I know when this first was released the shade range wasn't that great but they have added more it's just some shades are being discontinued but other than that highly highly recommend this foundation I really really love it in this category and it comes from time four this is the traceless um, foundation this is another one that's been like one of my all-time favorites for a very long time. Recently, um, they have changed the formula and they did add a couple more shades in the reformulated version. My personal opinion, I like the original a whole lot better, which is the one I'm holding, just because I feel like the original was more matte. I do feel like the newest version is definitely soft matte i feel like i still get some shine with it within a few hours but i feel like with this one i could wear it a very long time and i don't get any shine um i do feel like with the newest version 
they have um, a better shade match for me. I, I could wear the shade 10 point um, chestnut and I also could wear 10.5 mocha. I like mocha. I feel like that looks better on me than chestnut but if you use me as a shade reference you can pick up Either shade. If you don't want to spend the $80 for this foundation, $80 or $88, you can pick this up from the CCO store. Not to mention one more foundation for the um, full coverage matte category, and this comes from Marc Jacobs. This is the Extra Shot um, Concealer and Foundation. I have a review on my channel as well. I am really sad that this is being discontinued because this is a really good foundation. I don't feel like they have the best shade range, but you can find a shade. I know in this particular um, foundation I can wear either the shade 410 which is in my hand and I could also wear 39010 I think it is um, I have never used these um, use this as a concealer I just use it straight up as a foundation and I really love how full coverage it is I love how matte it is this is very long-lasting but it is one of those foundations I feel that leans more towards drying matte. So if you really don't like a foundation that is super matte that's going to dry you out, you probably won't like this. But I would recommend going um, in with a hydrating primer before using this. But you definitely cannot put like a matte primer on and then put this on. Unless it's like summertime or something. But during like right now winter time if I did that this would really like dry um, my skin out but outside of that I really do like this foundation I'm sad it's being discontinued right now it is on sale at Sephora for about $20 and also I did see this in Marshalls recently which I was shocked about well not really shocked but you can't find this in Marshalls for less than the $20 I believe that Sephora has it marked down at. Now for the medium coverage category I'm actually shocked because now that I'm getting a little older I'm actually preferring more um, medium coverage foundations more skin like before I was like straight up matte don't get me wrong I love matte foundations but lately I've been reaching more for foundations that have medium coverage ones that look like skin so out of all the categories the, um, the foundations I'm going to mention are ones that I constantly wear like a lot and the first one is a new release foundation actually and it comes from Chanel this is the number one line I've spoken about this foundation on my channel a lot since it's been released I've been wearing this a lot I really like how skin like it look it gives you enough hydration without making me look super shiny or too oily and this just wears nicely all day this really looks like your skin but better it is on the pricey side it's about $70 but I highly highly recommend I'm not gonna go on and on about this just because I have a dedicated review to this product but I really like this foundation and I have the shade BD one foundation comes from Shiseido this is the synchro skin radiant lifting foundation I absolutely love this one it is so worth picking up I never tried the more mattifying one this is the radiant lifting one now it is radiant but it doesn't look like too it doesn't look glowy on me like I could wear this for a long time and I don't look super shiny I could wear this during the summertime and it doesn't make me look extremely oily I don't know what it is in this foundation but as you wear it throughout the day as it sit on your skin it start looking better and better and it just really start looking more and more like skin I don't know like this is really pretty on the skin I highly highly recommend this I, I really like this foundation a lot and this is one I would definitely recommend. I have a review of this on my channel as well. You could definitely go check that out if you're interested in seeing a full day uh, wear test with this one. And next medium coverage foundation that I'm absolutely loving. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I've always heard good things about this one for years and years and years. And I never um, went out my way to try it until like early last year. I think I used this for... Um, foundation Friday and even when I did the foundation Friday video I liked it but I still didn't wear it a lot but I would say like ending the summer early fall I fell in love with this this is so nice on the skin this is another one that's kind of like the Shiseido where as it sits on your skin it start looking better and better difficult trying to find your exact shade match I do feel like this shade 11 is not like the perfect 
perfect shade match like spot on but i do make this work i like how it look eventually i am gonna go in store and find my right shade they do have these available in full size and in mini and last the foundation in this category comes from code jindel this is the aqua foundation i've been speaking very highly of this um foundation i just really like how this looks on my skin it is super lightweight very skin light it lasts all day i can get an easy eight to nine hours wear out of this um foundation during this current um season being that it's winter time it's a little cooler during the summertime i already know this is not going to work foundation is definitely in my top three current foundation i absolutely love it now if it performed a little better all year round this would be a holy grail foundation but sadly again this doesn't work well with my oily skin. Recently, I was watching Keeping Up With BB. I think that's her name. It might have been her. And she was decluttering foundations. And this was one that she said she absolutely loves. But she doesn't talk about it at all on her channel. Because of how, how um, poor the shade ranges are. And I would totally agree. That is like the only negative. They don't have a ton of shades. I think maybe they're about 10 or 12. And out of those shades, maybe three are deep. I know they're not a lot um, of deep shades. I have the shade 302, and I think there's a shade after 302. So you probably will have to look these up online or go in store and swatch them. But I really do like this foundation a lot. I really wish there was a shade for everybody to try it out just because of how much I like it. This is a really good foundation. So next category will be more of like skin tint, light coverage foundations, and I have three to mention quickly. And the first one comes from Givenchy. This is the Tint Couture City Bomb um, Skin Tint. At one point, I could not put this skin tint down. Like, I really like how this looks on the skin. It's lightweight. Now, this don't have a ton of coverage just because, again, it is a skin tint. Um, I don't even feel like you could build this up, but this is perfect for like everyday wear or if you want to throw something on right quick while you're running errands, this will be one I would definitely recommend. I have the shade um, N405, which I feel is a perfect shade match. It does come with the pump. Like, I really like this skin tint. And I know recently I was looking on uh, Givenchy's website for it. Oh, I was looking for something and a, they don't have a lot of their products on there anymore. I can't remember if this is still there, but a lot of things in their um, beauty section are starting to be discontinued, but highly, highly recommend this skin. Okay, she comes from Chanel. This is the Boy Day Chanel um, foundation. This has very light coverage, more of like a skin tint. Now, we've already spoken about this is a product that is marketed more towards men, but I absolutely love it. This does come with a pump, so it is easy to dispense on your hand. Highly, highly recommend this one. I have a review of this on my channel. I did a full day wear. I will highly, highly recommend. Do not let the fact that this is marketed towards men, because regardless if you are a man or woman, you could pretty much wear whatever you want. But this is really the way good. I would describe this, and I pretty much use the same description all the time. Is that this is right in the middle of the um, Ultra Match uh, Chanel foundation and the um, Le Beige's something glow, all in one glow. I believe that's the name. This will be right in the middle. If you felt like one was too glowy and the other one was too matte, this is right there in the and middle. The last um, skin tint in this category comes from YSL. This is the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. I've used this a lot. As you see, I've kind of put a little dent in it. This is my favorite, 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 favorite skin tint. I never knew I could love a skin tint as much as I love this. Sadly, this is being discontinued. You cannot find this on Sephora's website, but depending on the Sephora you go to, these are still in stock and they're still on display. Definitely pick this up. This is so worth it. I don't even know what shade I have. I know I either have shade B70 or B80 because it doesn't say it on there, but I just like how this looks. Now, you can definitely build the coverage up on this to give it more of a medium cover. Everything that I look for in a skin tint. It has light coverage. You can build it up if you feel like you want to um, build it up to more of a medium coverage. It looks like skin. Silly YSL came out with the new um, skin tint. I think that's the name. That's a nice one too, but to me, that don't even compare to this. Like This is a thousand times better in my opinion. It has more coverage. It just looks a lot better. Like I, I like this a lot. And y'all know I really like YSL. I highly recommend y'all go pick this up. 
And the last category is stick foundations. And I have two I want to mention right quick. And the first one comes from Huda Beauty. This is the Faux Filter Stick Foundation. I really love this. I have the shade Mocha 500G. This is a pretty decent shade match. I do feel like this pulls a little olive on me. I prefer the shade um, 455, I think it's chocolate mousse. I feel like that's a better shade match. I just really like this just because of how skin like it looks. These sticks are perfect for those days when you are in the rush, you don't have that much time. You can just apply it to your face, blend it out and kind of almost go. So this would definitely be a stick um, foundation I would recommend. This one would be like, this is not only one of my favorite, favorite stick foundations, this is a favorite foundation in general. This is the Tom Ford Trace Foundation. I love this. This was one of my go-tos. This is not a matte um, stick foundation, more of a natural finish. You could build the coverage up with this. Love it. It's not too drying. It looks exactly like skin. It lasts all day. Holly, Holly. And again, find this at the cosmetics uh, company store. So that is it for my Holy Grail foundations. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video again um, hopefully it ain't too long because I do feel like I've been talking for a long time I think I've been recording this video for about 30 minutes so yeah my mouth is dry I want some water but anyway y'all um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later bye